Assalamualaikum. I am Afsaf Khar and today is my topic of presentation is Magnetic Properties of Transition Compounds and Quenching Angular Momentum. This presentation is actually related to lecture number 2.8. Assalamualaikum. The key points of lectures are Magnetic Properties of Coordination Compounds, of Magnetic Moment, Formula for Calculating Magnetic Moment and Quenching of Angular Momentum. The key points magnetic properties of coordination compounds. Transition metals have ability to form magnets. That depends upon the geometry and the coming weekend. Last electrons or you can say the valence channel electron reside in the d orbitals of transition metals and the magnetism is due to their unpaired d electrons. Complex that have an odd number of electrons because electron pairing is destabilized. Uh, for example, monomeric titanium that have one electron, its valence shell is paramagnetic regardless of the geometry of the nature of the ligand. And if we take the example of titanium 2, which have two d electrons, forms some it forms some complexes that may have some two unpaired electrons and others with them. Iron prefers to exist as ferric positive 3 and is known to have a coordination number of 6. Since the configuration of ferric ion has 5d electrons, so we expect to see 5 unpaired spins in the complexes with iron. This is so true in case of hexafluorofurate. However, in case of hexacyanofurate, only has 1 unpaired electron, making it a weaker magnet. As I have discussed in the previous slide, that the property of behaving like a magnet is also dependent upon the nature of the ligand. The trend can be explained based on the properties of the ligands. Cyanide have a stronger electric field and fluoride is a weak ligand. Energy differences in the g orbitals should be greater for the cyanide complex. The difference in the behavior of two different compounds of iron can be explained on the fact that for iron fluoride and for hexacyanofate magnetic moment of the fluoride complex is expected to be larger than the magnetic moment of the cyanide complex because there are more unpaired electrons in the fluoride complex. Higher is the number of unpaired electrons, higher is the magnetic moment. Cyanide is a strong field ligand. It forms low spin or spin paired complexes. Iron positive 3 ion in ferrohexacyanofurate with 3d5 electronic configuration has one unpaired electron. Fried is a weaker ligand. It forms high spin or spin free complexes. In hexafluorofurate, iron has five unpaired electrons. So it has greater ability to form magnets. Iron prefers to exist. Here is the CFT splitting diagram of iron where you can see iron with no ligand, iron with fluoride ligand, and iron with cyanide ligand. In hexafluorofluoride, the weak field of the uh, fluoride molecule produces only a small crystal field splitting because it requires less energy for the electrons to occupy the each orbitals than to pair together. There will be an electron in each of the 5D. Uh, 3d orbitals before pairing for the 5d electrons on the ferric center in hexafluorofurate there will be no pairing of electrons and five unpaired electrons are present complexes such as hexafluorofurate ion in which the electrons are unpaired because the crystal field splitting is not large enough to cause them to pair alkyl high spin complexes because the number of unpaired electrons is maximized but in case of hexacyanofurate, the strong field of six uh, cyanide ligands produce a large splitting. Under these conditions, the electron require less energy to pair than they require to be excited to the EG orbitals. The six 3D orbitals of the uh, ferric ion pair in the uh, T2G orbitals. Complexes in which the electrons paired because of the large crystal field splitting are called low spin complexes because the number of unpaired electrons is minimized. Here is the CFT splitting diagram of iron where you can see iron with no ligand, iron with fluoride ligand and iron with cyanide ligand. 
in hexafluoride the weak field of the the uh, fluoride molecule produces only a small crystal field splitting because it required less energy for the electrons to occupy the each orbitals than to pair together energy level difference must be more than the repulsive energy of pairing electrons together and we know that systems strive to achieve the lowest energy possible in case of strong field ligand energy level difference must be more than the repulsive energy of pairing electron together electrons will pair up before they will move to higher orbitals in case of strong field ligands this is referred to as low spin and an electron moving up before pairing is known as high spin tetrahedral complexes have natural weaker splitting power Square planar compounds, on the other hand, stem solely for transition metals with AT electrons. Cyanonucleates, tetrachloroplatinate, and triamine chloroplatinum are all diamagnetic. Square planar complexes are always low spin and weakly magnetic. In bi and polymetallic complexes, individual centers have an odd number of electrons in them. Magnetic properties. Square transition metals or ions on the other when hand placed in, in a magnetic field, they show different behaviors. On the basis of behavior, they are classified as paramagnetic substances, diamagnetic substances, ferromagnetic substances, antiferromagnetic substances, and ferrimagnetic substances. The transition metal complexes that contain one or more unpaired number of electrons are called paramagnetic, while central atom or ion has been no pair unpaired number of electrons are called diamagnetic substances compounds as far as uh, ferromagnetism is the basis a basic mechanism by which electrons. certain materials form permanent magnets or are attracted to magnet chloroplatinate and um, in materials that exhibit antiferromagnetism the magnetic moment of atoms or molecules are usually related to the spins of electrons aligned in a regular in pattern with the spin pointing in opposite directions centers have an order a ferromagnetic materials in one that has population of atoms with opposing magnet square as compounds and ferromagnetic on the power in ferromagnetic materials the opposing moments are unequal electrons. and spontaneous polarization remains Remains same. Magnetic properties. Transition metals or ions are placed in a magnetic field. They show the paramagnetism of the basis of transients expressed in terms of magnetic substances. The larger is the number of unpaired electrons in the central atom ion of a given complex compound, the greater is the paramagnetic crest. The transition metal larger is the value of the magnetic field that contains one or more unpaired number of electrons. The magnetic moment is expressed while the central atom or ion has or no and number of electrons electrons paramagnetic substances have some values of magnetic moment as, as you know the uh, ferromagnetism is the basis of the basic mechanism by which the certain materials form permanent while diamonds or are attracted to magnetic of their magnetic moments in materials that exhibit antiferromagnetism the magnetic moment of atoms or more magnetic moments the spins of electrons align in a regular pattern the ferromagnetism of the substance is expressed in terms of magnetic, magnetic moment of one and the larger is the number of unpaired, the number of unpaired electrons in the central atom ion of a given complex compound the greater is the paramagnetic crest and hence larger is the value of the basic moment of the complex compound calculated as the magnetic moment is expressed in magnetic properties and or magnetons or ion orbital motion paramagnetic substances have some values of magnetic moment as you know that paramagnetic they are classified as paramagnetic substances and the the transition metal complexes that contain one or more unpaired number of electrons are called paramagnetic while the central atom or in the paramagnetism where the formula for electrons are in terms of magnetic substances the magnetic larger is the number of unpaired electrons in the central atom of a given complex compound the greater is the paramagnetic crest and hence 
larger is the value of the magnetic moment of the component. The magnetic moment is expressed in terms of the magnetic moment of the component. Paramagnetic substances have some values of the magnetic moment. As you know, there is paramagnetic moment. A very magnetic material can be the equivalent of the magnetic moment. The larger is the number of unequal electrons in the number of 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 the the magnetic moment is expressed in a form that contains the magnetic electrons. Paramagnetic substances have some values of magnetic moment. No pair of paramagnetons are called magnetic substances. And in a paramagnetic angular moment, the magnetic electrons are called the larger is the number of other electrons in the center of the magnetic moment of the one and the compound. The greater is the paramagnetic moment. The larger is the value of the magnetic The magnetic moment is expressed in the form of the value of the paramagnetic substances have some values of the transition moment as you know the paramagnetic the transition metal complex that contains one or the pair of the atom of the atom is expressed in terms of the center of the atom. The largest number of other electrons in the center of the atom is the string of the magnetic the magnetic moment is expressed in the paramagnetic substances have some values of the moment as you know the the paramagnetism of a substance is expressed in terms of magnetic The larger is the number of hundred electrons of the electron carrier in the paramagnetic The magnetic moment is expressed in the the transition of the paramagnetic substances have the value of the and 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 the